Hi everyone, I'm Maria De Simone, your astrologer here at Tarot.com, and I want to tell you all about the month of December. Early in the month, on the 3rd, we're going to get a full moon in Gemini that is supposed to be all about wonderful fulfillment and culmination and communications, but this full moon is damaged. <laughs> badly damaged. So I want you all to take real caution with communications matters. There are two issues with this full moon. The first is that it is almost exactly square Neptune in the sky, which suggests something is not as it seems. So you're getting some kind of confusing information, mixed signals, not understanding something communications wise. What makes this full moon even more difficult is that in Gemini, the ruler of the full moon would be the planet Mercury. And on the very same day, Mercury turns retrograde. So be careful with communications at this full moon. There's emotional stuff attached to conversations and you just want to know about it in advance. Now Mercury will be retrograde until the 22nd. So Take your usual cautions with all communications related matters until then. Be careful about new decisions, new contracts and communications. And it's a great time to review everything that you already have going on. That's what you're supposed to be doing during Mercury retrograde. So on the 9th, we have another interesting astrological event happening. Mars, the planet of action and energy, will move into sultry Scorpio and remains here until January 26th. With Mars in Scorpio, you have the energy to go deep, to penetrate, to really dig beneath the surface and investigate. It's a great energy for research, wonderful for probing into the depths of your psyche or someone else's psyche, really good to kind of attack healing on a psychological or physical level. This is also a lot of motivation for investment opportunities and very sexy, sexual, erotic energy for you and your lover. Then on the 18th, we have a new moon in Sagittarius. And this new moon wants you to think big, wants you to mo move forward and go on that new magic carpet ride in your life, whatever that might be for you. This is a great opportunity to kind of learn something new, honor the wanderlust within you, and seek to expand your horizons in some capacity. Finally, on the 19th, we have the biggest event of all, Saturn, the planet of karma, the planet of restriction and limitation, but also commitment and responsibility will move into Capricorn for the first time in about 29 years. So this is a big deal. Saturn will remain in Capricorn all the way until December of 2020. So get used to working with this little guy. Saturn in Capricorn is actually the best place for Saturn to be since Saturn naturally rules Capricorn. So if you are willing to roll your sleeves up and do the work that Saturn asks, I know you have a major reward in store, especially as it relates to your worldly ambitions. Saturn in Capricorn will demand that you follow the rules and that you listen to those above you and make sure that you respect those higher ups as you continue to move forward in achieving your goals. Now, there could be some initial blocks or limitations placed on you by authority figures, but that's just to teach you how to work with them in the correct way. Saturn in Capricorn really does want to help you create a solid foundation to make your ambitions tangible. So use this energy. Now that you know all about December, be sure to read your sign specific horoscope for December right here at tarot.com.